Hey friends, it's Sene. I am back with the Lawn Fun Lovers collaboration. If I'm whispering a bit, I am sorry, but the whole house is sleeping and we got the flu. And I'm the only one who's actually up at the moment. Um, I based this month's uh, project on this sketch you see by Jenna. Um, I wanted to do something, uh, something different, so... I, uh, I picked a sketch and a pattern paper uh, to uh, to follow colors and uh, and layout. I'm using uh, Lawn Fawn Signs of Love and Love Letters to make a friendship card for my very best friend. And I can tell you she loved it. She got it for Valentine's. And the Signs of Love stamp was perfect for this because there's one thing we love to do, it's experiment in the kitchen. And she uh, she taught me a lot about uh, building things and putting uh, up pictures. Um, so now I am self-sufficient, unfortunately. So we still enjoy uh, doing homemaker roots. Now I'm using my uh, Shinhan uh, Touch Twin markers for the coloring and the, the colors, like I said, I picked out from the pattern paper. This will be some uh, some pinks, some grays and some reds and I needed to pick a color for the beak of the bird and I chose a very, very peachy kind of yellowish uh, color uh, which is also going to be in one of the beakers. Um, well, this will kind of be self-explanatory. The colors will be listed on the side as usual, so I'm just going to shut up and put on some music. See you in a bit. and the test tubes in uh, Nouveau Clear uh, Nouveau Crystal Drops in the Clear uh, formula Unfortunately it didn't work out too well on the beakers I had to redo them and cover them in glossy accents The only reason why I chose the Nouveau was because my glossy accent was for lack of a better word um, completely blocked <laughs> So, but now it's time to leave these to dry um, and move on with the, the rest of the concept. Oh, of course, the beaks need to be glossy too. The beaks and the beakers. <laughs> and see, I smudged that one and it really looked terrible afterwards. I just couldn't get it to smooth out. Um, not even with the next layer. But uh, I'll, I'll know that in the morning. So, um... I'm gonna make the circles on the sketch out of vellum and I'm just drawing on the outside of this uh, die uh, so I know kind of where to stamp um, the accents to the the colored images um, um, I don't have any stays on so I uh, use pigmented uh, ink 
and uh, then I cover it in embossing powder so that it sets on the vellum. And here are the new ones. Uh, so these fit, and then I just have to do the birds. They're gonna be cheering. Uh, cheering is that the word? Because it's called cheers. Hmm. You tell me. I'm not a native English speaker. Uh, but I actually don't know what you call it when you clink your glasses. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I had to cut off the feet of the birds, so I'm stamping them again, like before, in uh, inversive uh, fine ink and uh, heat setting it in clear embossing powder. And then I take uh, the ink splatters from uh, Love Letters to to look like something coming out of the test tubes that we're going to be that would completely I don't know I think I know the word but it's just gone no. I'm going to glue on the birds with some multimeter matte and that one too I have trouble with so that's why I'm using a toothpick to uh, to put the glue on so I don't get a big blob of it um, smooth it out and uh, put on the birds and now the birds have feet fantastic and I also need to of course put on the beakers on their different pieces of alum I think actually this card turned on really nice um, that's uh, I, I did think about maybe I shouldn't have done the the test tubes with red liquid but I needed something bright and I couldn't really do more pink because the birds were pink and well the rest of the colors on the cards were kind of dull so yeah but we're gonna be a uh, that word it escapes I have to look it up when I'm done with this video that's for sure now because I have solid objects it won't be a problem to glue on the the vellum pieces I can hide the adhesive behind it and I cut out the pattern paper so that the, the stripes go diagonally and I picked a piece of, of white um as the the square behind the the circles but i'm uh, i'm going to color that one uh, it was a bit too plain and the sentiment of course um needs to stand out so i did it on black with white and here's the the backing piece and my homemade cloud stencil <laughs> i'm going to do it in a benton coral and sponge sugar which are the only pink kind of pinks I have um, the sponge sugar was very light and I did want the bottom to be darker than the top so that's why I picked abandoned coral which is the only other pink like color I, I own but I think it, it turned out quite nice because uh, it's so pale now here's a trick for you if you have a paper trimmer you need to cut something very close I put a piece of tape on it to keep it straight because you can't really hold it um, and there then it's straight the strip doesn't slide on you or anything and then for the composition I did play around but, but the, the fit was better with the sentiment at the bottom and I've got a smudge on my card or on my vellum typical me now the the card base was a bit too pale or white, stark white, so I uh, just took the marker from in that creamy yellow kind of color and uh, and run ran over the card to color it. It was a nice finish, I think. So I'm gonna assemble the the elements on the 
um, the pattern paper first and then glue it onto the, the card base. So, I hope that you will uh, take a round trip uh, to some of the others uh, who are participating in the the hop or collaboration thing. I am having fun making these every month. Um, quite much <laughs> fun actually, and uh, I spent a few weeks planning what to do and. Uh, making the card and then making the video of course it takes a day or two mm -hmm. so to speak because I have to find a time to make the voiceover when it's quiet in the house so but yes these uh, I do I don't know I, d I don't get as much out of my love letters uh, stamp set as I thought I would which is odd, because I actually think it's really nice. I just don't make that many love you cards, I guess. So maybe I'll uh, get better at that. And this tape, it's, well, it's all the fiddling, but it's worth it in the end, you know, getting every piece of paper to line up right and uh, and fit in height like one of the birds here is off of the cloud paper so it needs more foam tape than the one that is on the cloud paper and uh, yeah so and so forth and now we're nearing the end so I hope you enjoyed it, and of course there needs there needs to be some uh, some decorative elements, and I'm gonna use liquid liquid pearls to embellish uh, both the vellum but also the background um, to give it a bit more dimension. There is some glitter on it already, and uh, some of the elements are ki slightly elevated, but uh, I'm just gonna add a bit extra here. I luckily had colors that matched. I didn't plan those out. I just happened to own the biscuit and the pink yeah. liquid pearls. I think it's the only two I own. <laughs> Funny enough. But I um, hope you enjoyed this card and hopefully I'll be putting up more videos. Um, I'm still studying a lot. Trying to anyway. And uh, that does interfere with my video making. Not so much the card making, because recording the the card isn't hard. It's the rendering and the the time for making the video and the voiceover that takes time. So, but I'll see you at least next month, if not before. Have a good day.